Hello guys, we are going to make another card. It's going to be a C card, obviously, because I like C. And I'm using 5x7 white card. Before, I'm going to show you the previous ones I've made. So, these are a blue, um, this is black and white, and these are C cards as well, that you can use for um, male, male or female, grandpa, grandpa, granddads, mums and everything else so um this is white on blue and now we're going to do a reverse one which is going to be blue on white and this is my stamp set i'm going to be using today uh which is the stamp set oh this is island lagoon so this is the this is the stamp set i don't know where i got it from but it's pretty I like it, you know, and I even made a card with sand, so it's actually quite pretty. Anyway, let's start. This is the sentiment I'm going to be using. And I am not going to add a sentiment in the sense that it's not going to be... Um, what's called? The sentiment is not going to be added on. It's already going to be stamped on. So I've chose... Send, sending cheerful thoughts your way. May your day be filled with sunshine. No, sending cheerful thoughts your way. So let's do this one. It's already bent, so I'm quite happy because it's already bent. And these ones are from Perpemania, and I like them because they already have uh, lines. You know, and I can feed them with lines. So, yeah, see, they all have lines. And now I'm going to be using VersaFine on this black, as always. This is my favorite. And it's going to be black. Okay, okay. Now I need to move my card. And which way I'm going to do it. I think this way, this way would be good. Yeah, that's the one I want. I want this way. So I'm going to stamp this one. Okay, very pretty. I like it. And now we're going to do it again, because I would like to have a continuous line. going to go I've lined up my card with this one so I know roughly one two three one two three four four squares one two three four squares I need to finish a little bit mm -hmm. perfect okay now I can close this one and we are going to go ahead and I'm going to be using this blue embossing powder. I don't know where I got it from. I think my friend gave it to me. And we're going to use this, this and this lovely shelf. Yeah, my stamp set looks really nice because I have not been using this stamp set too often. This stamp set has been used only a couple of times. And... Um, it's fairly new, I would say. Fairly new. Where's my one more shelf? Okay, so I've got three shelves. Perfect. And now I'm going to be using VersaFine. Uh, obviously, if you know how to do it, then you can do it. I don't tend to fold my card and then stamp it. I try not to do it, so I'm going to stamp on a piece of cardstock. I'm going to put a piece of cardstock over here. And then I'm going to just, this is how I do it. And that's how I'm going to stamp. So this is going to go straight on my card. I'm not going to do any, um, any borders. You can if you would like to, but I'm not interested today. So this one is going to be huge. Okay. I know you can't see, guys, because this is how it looks like. But this, trust me, it's really, really cool. 
and it's going to be visible. I can see it because it's champagne. That's why I like this um, Versa. Uh, like Versa, right? let me see. Versa Mark, sorry, Versa Mark. Because I can see roughly when I'm stamping. And I need another big one. I only have three of them. So it's not going to be a lot and I need to be able to see where I'm stamping. So I know I've stamped one here and I'm going to one over here. And now, because I'm not sure of all of the position, I'm going to leave the last one to do it when when I hit emboss the big ones first, okay? So let's do this one. Mm -hmm. Now you can see where I stamped it. So we can add on where, where I need some more. And then I can add on some more and add some more. This is really good. Those stamp sets are really good. I can tell you guys some of the stamp sets I have, uh, they are not worth the price. But this one, I don't even remember where I got it from. It's really cool. Okay, so now you have a choices couple of choices definitely one of them the main one is to put the embossing powder back to the pot because I'm clumsy it's better if I do it slowly oh don't worry about those numbers guys my little one was learning how to how to write some numbers and definitely need to close it before you do anything else because I'm clumsy I won't be doing too much and now I can see where I have the space. I'm going to, I haven't took away because I would like to have some dots all around it. So now I need, I would say I would need an extra shell over here. So I'm going to stamp another shell over here, just in case. Okay, and now I'm going to change my shelf for the last one for the last little shelf and I always start with the biggest ones because the little one can fill up the gaps like you can see over here so my little ones are going to fill up the gaps I know there's one here so I can't put another one here so this one will go this way yeah and I'm going to have one sticking out. Don't worry if you have to take it outside. I mean like, mm, take it out of the borders. I think that's it. Don't worry guys, I can't see it too. Well, roughly I can't see it too. Now we're going to do the embossing powder. Again, the embossing powder is really nice and blue. At the moment it looks like very dark, but trust me, it's really nice and blue. Like this one can you see it it's really blue but because it's not heated yet ta -da! we've got I hope that there's going to be some little ones sticking out because um, I didn't do any anti-static bag and I might actually drop some only because purely because it's going to look like extra sand extra decorations some people like to be super perfect. I don't. Well, I do. <laughs> I do. I do like to be perfect. Wait. No, I do like to be perfect. I like when everything looks more natural. See? Super. Now, this is what I was looking for. This is the look. So, my look is with the spots. My look is with the dots. Some people don't like them. 
because it needs to be nice and super clean. But my look needs to be with dots, okay? So now uh, everything goes back again. You're soon going to learn. If you start using embossing powders more and more, you will learn that you actually don't use too much. And a little pot, maybe you can see the pot in a shop, a little pot goes a long way. And now, shall we start the embossing? Look guys how it's changes the color. This blue is absolutely fabulous. Can you see guys? Show you in a moment. This blue is amazing. Don't fly away. Okay, I think that's it. Now look at this guys, this is just fabulous. I forgot to tell you as well what I did, purely by accident, but I love the idea. So when I was using a very so fine black, because it was still wet, it pick up some, I actually have some blue on top of it. I don't know if you can see it actually has some blue on top of it because it was wet the embossing powder stick to it and it's so nice and pretty isn't it now I'm not going to leave this card as it is because I like to add some color I know it already has pretty colors it's shiny it's not the same one but we will add some extra colors and pairs of course okay now let's play with decorations so um recently i purchased those two and i like them so they're quite okay uh, i'm going to use them on my acrylic block so i'm going to put one on one side and the other one on the other side 
one is dark one is light they look really good i'm only <clears throat> i am the beginner for oxides so i don't know too much about the um about them i just purchased a couple of, uh i think i only have six of them yeah i only have six of them so i don't have much but the ones that i have they're really pretty so now i'm going to add just a tiny bit of color to some of my shelves yeah yeah i know shelves sometimes are brown or different but this time they are going to be blue please don't laugh at my painting skills they are not the best wow mm -hmm. Let me just add a little bit of water far away. Perfect. So I only add a splash of water because it was too dry and thick. Now you can watch me drawing. Mm. I'm going to have some shading. So let me do some shades. Perfect. So you're going to have this one. Now you can see how I paint and draw everything. So I'm going to add over here. Now we're going to add somewhere over here. I'm starting with the lightest one. And then I'm going to add the darker a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. Precisions. See, it does look pretty nice. I want to go over at this one. Come on. Don't worry, it's going to blend in. I'll put some more water later and it's going to blend in. Mm -hmm. And then on my little dots. This time I'm going to put it on the dots. Okay, I think I'm happy with this one now. Let's see. I'm going to connect those two. So it's going to be, it's not going to be as dark. As I want it to be. So it's going to be a little bit darker than previous one, but it's not going to be as dark. See? But you can pick and choose what you want to do. And then you can decide. Oh, this one doesn't have it. So I'm just coloring these ones. Mm hmm. going to have blue mm -hmm. I'm just using a normal paint brush very fine one no I'm using don't worry guys when they dry those uh, oxides they are much lighter they still very vivid but they're much lighter Did not expect too much of it. Okay. So now a little bit darker shade here and here. This is a long process. I hope you're not bored yet, guys. And this one. Okay. Now I'm going to do a water. I have to cover this side because I do not wish to have any colors on that side. So this is on occasions when i need some pretend water this is how i do the droplets a little bit maybe i need a little bit of water yeah it needs to be a little bit more water look at the guys mm -hmm. that's why i needed those um little embossing powder droplets so i didn't want to have the cut super super unorganized but this is amazing look if you have a smaller brush and less water you're not going to sprinkle so much but everything depends on you 
Oh, this one. Look, guys. I've missed two of them. <laughs> that was not the best idea. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Let's add some texture. So this is how I do the water occasionally. And it looks pretty nice. Now, because I was, um, because I heat emboss everything, mm -hmm. so the whole consistency, all my stuff is wet. So the top of my thing is wet. Now I need to take as much as possible. Do not move the tissue because you're going to smudge your paint. So all you gotta do is just press it on press and take it away okay and that's how you get extra pieces now I'm going to wipe my acrylic block and it's all nice and dry I could use it I could use it on a different piece of card but oh well it happens now I have to I'm going to add some sparkle I like sparkles I've used this pen today a couple of times because I like shimmer. Yeah, blue is this blue is very pretty. Come on. Mm -hmm. So this is my shimmer. Oh, nice one. Very nice one. Mm hmm. Just smudge it. And now I'm going to do add some colorful droplets. It's going to imitate a water reflections on this card. But it's going to be really, really pretty. Okay. And this is the card for today. Now, guys, have a look. Tell me what you think about it. I hope you can see it. Let me see. Hope you can see. It's still shiny. It's really shiny. It's really, really shiny. Yeah. So this is this is the blue and white, and this is white and blue, and you can see all different ones. They look very pretty. This is a different stamp set. I could use exactly the same stamp sets all together, but because I have to, that's enough for me for now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please see more of my videos. I'm going to post some more online and hope to see you soon. Bye!